Now, some companies in South Korea are going a step further to make sure their employees don't have to risk exposure to COVID-19 by commuting. That includes the now familiar work from home model, but some have even set up new so-called smart offices closer to where their employees live. Kim Sung-min reports. An SK Telecom employee uses a large screen to choose where to sit. This office in Jongnogu in central Seoul is not only smart but also convenient as workers who live nearby can choose to come to this office. SK Telecom has its head office in Ulziru but has been running these kinds of mini offices in four places, including Seodaemungu and Jongnogu districts, and it is expanding the concept with offices in six other locations. Now, employees who live further away can instead commute to offices in the Gangnam-gu, Songpa-gu, and Gangseo-gu districts of Seoul or in Ilsan in the city of Goyang. The company aims to shorten its workers' commuting time to within 20 minutes and reduce unnecessary contact with others. These offices not only shorten commuting time but also enable workers to select their seats and communicate with employees from other teams. Efforts to improve the working environment are not limited to SK Telecom, but are a growing trend amid the COVID-19 outbreak. Employees in Naver work from home three days per week, and workers at Kakao commute to the office only once a week. Lotte Group, the first South Korean conglomerate to adopt the work-from-home model on a regular basis, plans to expand the model, now making around 3,000 of its Lotte shopping employees choose one day a week to work from home. The development of communication technology along with the coronavirus pandemic could change the work environment for people all around the world. Kim Sung-min, Arirang News.